What's good, everyone? Summit Husker here. NCAA basketball 10. Nebraska Dynasty. As you see here, we have our final non conference game. Just a quick recap of the season. Go back to November. Uh, we played South Florida, got a W. Went up against American and had a crazy come from behind win. Then we went and played Southern Miss and rolled them. Got beat by Stephen F. Austin. And Ohio beat us. Beat Iowa by 25. Lost to Clemson by 7. Went out and beat the uh, Appalachian State. Got steamrolled. Uh, by, or no, we won Chattanooga. Uh, won a close one against, uh, I think it was North Dakota. Lost that one in New Mexico. Or Eastern Kentucky, that's what it was. Eastern Kentucky. Beat the snot out of Butler. And then we lost to Creighton Big. Beat Georgia, and now here's the last one. We're going to play it, so here we go. It's Lamar's in the red. We should do well. All right, here we go. College basketball live from the bottom of any sports center in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's filled up, ready to go for this non-conference match. Isaiah Roby is having a great game, and he's got a tough matchup today. The dude he's going against averaging almost 20 points a game. Lamar is 1-8 and eight on the year. So here we go, Nebraska. Can you get it done? I hope so. We need a, a, a nice, solid win. Who's going to be the guy that's going to take us tonight? Uh, jump too early. Yeah, I allow that to happen all the time. All the time. All right, Watson, here he comes. Into the front court. Crosses over. Finds Gill. Gill, feet set, three ball, no good. Lamar controls it. Give me a 10 second call. Ooh, that was close. Rebound good. The big O. Oh, that dude is a monster, man. Copeland. There's the senior. Big bucket there. No foul. No good. Rebound Roby. Flips it to Watson. Watson's going to push it to Copeland. Copeland's going to drive. Kick the Gill. Gill pull up shot. No good. Nebraska likes to play at a frenetic pace. Lamar. Not a lot of success this year. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play in this atmosphere. A little screen there by 52. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing some old, like... Shoes from like Bob Cousy and the Celtics. Those Nikes don't look good, man. Ooh. Things on a yo yo. Down inside. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. Oh, goes right at him. His second foul, and he's going to have to exit well, the game. Is he's hot. That's Copeland, the senior, just doing work inside. That dude looks like he shrugs like 7,000 pounds. Nice free throw. Got it. So Nebraska trying to tie the game up here early in the first. Second one's up and good. Big man on campus, baby. 
Looks like they're going to be facing some pressure now, Dick. What? Watson picks up the foul. First team foul. That's some stupid well, stuff there. I think it's a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that. All right, two shots here for Lamar. He's the defense. No easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Six to four. Oh. Number fifteen gets the pass. Palmer on the reversal. No good. Copeland rebound. Put back in. Six six. The score in Nebraska pressing. The Cornhuskers did a great job of going through the high post on that play. They got the ball into the high post. Nice. And the defense couldn't react on Trap. the Trap. Him. Traps in place, Dick. The small forward with the ball. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Now with about 10 seconds. Roby was there. Ahead to Gill. On the dribble, gives it up. Finds Watson across court. Three. No good. Nebraska hasn't made a three yet. They'll work it around the arc. For two. Wow, Makes nice it. shot there. And Lamar. Gets his own rebound. Fights. Gets it to go. Nice job by Copeland. Homer three, got it. Nebraska has their first lead of the day. How's that dude not going out of bounds? Out on the left wing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 33. Charge. Oh, he got called with a charge. Oh, wow. Copeland. Was able to draw the charge. Let's go. They work the perimeter. Get open on the three. No good. Too physical. He's not going to be happy with that call. Oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. Mm -hmm. His facial expression tells it all. Good job defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Thirteen on the shot clock. Three ball. No good. Roby controls ahead to Watson. Watson's pushing. We've seen a combination of both short and long possessions here, Brad. Nothing wrong with that if that's your team's ideal style of play. For two. Oh, could get the ball. Totally got away with the push in the back. Nebraska having trouble scoring today. Wow. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Kill three. Miss In and out. Miss and Nebraska's only made one. Score. You know what the problem is, Brad? They aren't shooting the ball with confidence. They're just throwing it up there. On the outside. Struggling here today. That's not going to get it done. He manages to keep it in play. Uh, he almost had the skill. There we are, nine and five. We can get this one. We're ten and five. And I like it. Obi's coming out. Dubay's coming in. Number zero gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. 
Both teams Close looking to get things going here. On the left side. Here's a double team. The small forward takes the feed. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Three. Fade away three ball. No good. Copeland with the board. Head to Watson. Watson can't get it to fall. Here comes back Lamar. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Got it to go. Lamar takes a lead. That's taking it strong to the hoop, right, Dick? Well, those aggressive moves and the block. Block there by the, the Cardinal. Here they come back the other way. Way up good, and they're up three. <sighs> Got it. All their mid range game is on point. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Off the glass and no good. Dubé with the rebound. Head to Copeland. Copeland trying to push it. Up Temple teams really like to get possession of that ball off the glass and fill the lanes quickly. Gill from deep. Not even close. Three on two, four on three, two on one advantage. Shooting 14% from the three point line. And the ball out of bounds, but we'll be staying right here. You know, Dick, this guy's really elevated his game today. I tell you, no, he's been stepping it up. Copeland needs to do more. Really come to play to Coming out now. Look, what a great Maybe McVay can get his point. I tell you, he's fun to watch. Looks like they're going into a 3-2 zone defense here, Dick. Offensively, they get into their zone motion. Cross court. He shoots from Three ball. Side. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But well, they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Finished by Roby. Nebraska back, back on top. To the I'll tell you one thing he prides himself on, Brad. When he gets it, he takes it to the rack with a thorn. Roby at the board. Head to McVay. McVay's pushing. Gave it up. We're at the five minute mark. McVay, bucket. Got it. Nebraska up 17 14 with five minutes left. Charge. Oh, they're going to call him Bay with a block. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, that's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford Roby's coming out. He had a good run there. I like his mentality. No easy basket. There's a snapshot of some of his averages. One thing that's First free throws up, and he got it to roll in. The pass that leads to the pass that ultimately leads to a score. Deflection. Time to lose points. Those are all the important stats in my books. He sinks both of them. 17-16. Okay, Watson. Jesus, finish up the rim, son. Oh, that thing is rejected. That's our ball. Our ball. There we go. Nice job. Nebraska gets the block. Is able to get a turnover. 17-16. McVeigh, three ball. No. Jamanga, rebound, put back. Got it. And Nebraska has another three-point lead. Can they keep this thing going? Oh, Watson with the steal. Watson. The dunk! What acceleration! What explosion! And they're on a 2 2 run. A timeout by Lamar. Nebraska extends the lead to five. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. You see here the summary so far in Nebraska. Led by Copeland with eight. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Cross court. 
Nebraska running a 3-2 zone. They've confused him. Oh, Chamanga was getting ready to throw it down on the point guard for Lamar, but he fouled him. Chamanga got it. Really improved his free throw shooting this year. Knocks them both down. Nebraska up seven. That's a 12 2 run. Ever since they switched to this zone, things have been going well. And I say that, and he gives up a layup. Go, 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 go. You have him. Beat. Let's go. That's simply terrible D. Palmer three. Yes. Nebraska continues its hot streak. 15 4 run. Nebraska's got a five on four now. Oh, and one. Oh, Glenn goes right at the big fella. Gets himself to the line. Copeland coming back in for Shimonga. Glenn, 12 points a game, six assists. Free throw, good. Here we go. Second free throw up and good. 28-20. 2.56 left. Jesus, guys. Where is the rotation? Need a double team. Coach has been very animated over here on the sideline. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and we got another bucket. Lamar comes back within six. Encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. Our trusty sideline reporter Aaron Andrews keeping everyone on their toes there. Damn it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, the big fella gets him back within two. Nebraska rushing shots, dumb shots. I thought that was Copeland. I'm not sure what's going on with them, Brad. They should all realize that an up-tempo style is their best interest. Working it around the perimeter, and now they'll bring it up. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. Contested no go. McVeigh pushing it. Kicks it out. To Palmer. Palmer. Mid-range. Got it. 30 to 26. 133 left. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Copeland didn't rotate over on the zone. And they are just trading baskets now. Why does he take another dribble and get to the rack? You know what I mean? Looking for a good shot. One minute left on the game clock. Number 10 handles the pass. Oh! All the way up, and Watson throws it down. He's only 2 of 7 from the field. See if they can't get a 2 for 1 here, Lamar. 43 seconds on the shot clock. Look from three, point land. three ball. Bang. And that's going to be the end of the shot. They're going to hold it for one last shot. Brass is going to call timeout. Get in their shooters. 32-31. Lamar has come to play today here in Lincoln. Cornhuskers have the lead. Timeout call. We've got a break in the action. Fills back in. Copeland. Maybe. Bring back. Bay. Junior. There we go. All right. So we have a little three-point shooting team on the floor. 
question is, is it going to be enough? We'll have to wait and see, partner. Nebraska shooting 41% here in the first half. He looks at the hoop. Nine seconds. They work it around the perimeter from the corner. Rebound, no. Full court heave. Just short. And Nebraska 32, Lamar 31 at the half. It'll be interesting to see how Nebraska responds. They did not shoot well. They couldn't keep, I mean, this is not a good half for Nebraska, so we'll see if we can't see something different here. I look at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play, though. Anything can happen. Gill. Got it. That's his first one of the year in the second half. On that first possession, he knocks it down. So Nebraska's gone with a small lineup here. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. The ball's blocked. And he got his, the rebound and put it in. They try to lob. Oh, boy. What a pass. Full court heave by Glenn Watson to Garrett. To J James Palmer Jr. and the kid lays it in. Nebraska playing his zone. Wild got it to fall. Thirty seven, thirty five. McVay wants a three. He got it. Nebraska 40. Lamar 35. You knew that Nebraska eventually would start to gain some confidence. Oh, wow. Big time moves. So they're giving up some size inside. But Nebraska trying to a full court heave. That's out of bounds. That's a bad turnover by Glenn. Bad turnover. Hey, McVay comes out, in comes uh, Copeland. It's a little run there. On the left side. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's electrifying in here. Missed it. Nebraska pushing the other way. Looking for a good shot. They leave him open, can't get it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Block it. There we go, there we go. Bill pushing it. Why doesn't he throw it to the guy that's right in the center of the lane? Jesus. Wide open and been a freaking hammer dunk. Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression is uh. Obvious foul. Of course it's a freaking. Oh, and you can wow. see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Count that as a personal foul. Can we call another one? He's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Oh. Buried it. And Lamar. One and eight Lamar is giving Nebraska everything they can handle. For two. Oh, yes. Glenn gets inside, puts it down. Copeland contest big time. Watson wants a three. No good. Nebraska still not consistent enough from deep. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the top of the circle. Missed it. Glenn couldn't do anything with that. The big fella just out muscled him. 
knows how to use his strength. 42 41. You've got to know how to use it without being pulled for the foul. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Trying to feed inside. Turnover by the senior. I think they're trying to make a statement. I don't even know what to do, man. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Can we get a stop? Trying to feed the low block. And Fade away. Nice job by Roby. Kicks it out. Three ball. No. I mean, those are good looks. Handles incredible. There we go. Forget about it. Maybe does a little dribble in that here and turns it over. Dunk by Gil Watson. The assist 44 41. Nebraska back up three. Another steal. Gil Euro step in there. Nebraska up five. The place comes alive. Eight minutes left in the game clock. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. The Big fella can't ball. get it to fall. Gill. With the fake. Kicks it out. Top Heat check. That's not even close. They work the perimeter. The Corn Huskers are moving the ball well. They're getting contributions from a number of players on both ends of the court. Yeah. It's been great to watch them move the ball like that. Oh, jeez. That's an ugly game today. And when your team is doing those type of things, you're smiling as a coach. He makes the block. Black. Rotation over blocking that shot. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man Way up good. Gill finds James Palmer Jr. who is streaking down the sideline for the layup. Damn it, Gill. That dude averages 19 a game. He's got 12. McVay's coming in. That's a block. That's not a foul. Well, I don't know if a straight up meet me at the rim. Right there, Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. Two shots for Lamar. And we'll go to the free throw line. He hits the first shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second one is just the second one. On the Palmer Jr. We're at the seven minute mark. Copeland. Copeland. To McVay. Ooh, shot fake. McVay. Oh, baby. Shot fake. Drove right by him. Did a little, <laughs> little up and under dunk. And got it to rim rattle right home. And the score now is 50 to 42. Tough shot, oh, high off the glass. We got it to fall. Man, don't shy away. Tip in. Got it to go. Back seems a little sore there. Get him out. Tough shot. And he got it to fall again. This kid is spectacular. Lamar is shooting 50% on the day. Remaining in the game clock. Fake. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space in. McVay, three ball. Bang! He got it again. Nebraska up nine. On the outside. 
This cat. Oh, 21 as a player. Plumber's coming out. This dude here. Six foot four sophomore. He is a player. Free throw up and good. Nebraska leads by eight. 5.45 left in this one. Missed the free throw. McVay pushing it up to Nana and Kenton. Stripped, but Copeland's got it. Oh, KK, get it back to your point. Oh, there he is. Watson has it. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Ten seconds. Couldn't get it to fall on Lamar. Trying to cut this back down to a five-point game or six. Moving it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop. Double them. The Cardinals are gonna have to make gets out of it. Goes up, tries to finish. Can't finish. Nebraska. And McVeigh. It's all about quick shots now, Brad. They're gonna have to get stops and then quick scores to overcome this deficit. Step back. Bang. What a play there by Glenn Watson. And Nebraska's lead is ballooned to 10. Working it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Cross court. There's a Stolen by Glenn. The, defender. the Cornhuskers now looking for a basket in transition. Kicks it out. Three ball. No good. That was been blown the top off the place. Nebraska shooting 28% from the three. Not a great day. That one's blocked by Copeland. The kid does so much for Nebraska. Nebraska leads by 10 here with four minutes and four seconds left. Roby's coming in for Copeland. Stolen by a Kenton. McVeigh. McVeigh slams it home and does a chin up on the rim. This place is losing itself. Nebraska in the second half has done a great job of extending this lead. Looking for a good shot. Ball screen. For two. Got the bucket to fall. That kid is tough. Pushes it up. Roby finishes at the rim, and Watson with another unbelievable assist from three quarters court. And a momentary look from three point land. Three ball, no good. Watson with the rebound, head to Kenton. He finds McVeigh open for three. No. 61-49 <laughs> is our score here in Lincoln. On the left side, they work it around the perimeter. Foul charge. Kawhi's got it to fall. What a move by number 15. Man, Lamar's got some pieces. I'll tell you what. This dude, 19 and a half points a game. It's the end one. And it's a nine-point game. Gill wants a three. Gill can't get it to fall. again and he got it to go and Lamar is not going away 61 54 tremendous shots he's got 11 today tough shots steps to the line has it it's a six-point game Nebraska 
220 left. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Look at that space. With a fake. Two minutes left on the game clock. Glenn's blocked as he was going to slam it home. But they get a transition bucket and Lamar has cut it to four. 8 0 run. That thing goes off the side of the basket. Rebound put in by Gill. Got it. Six point lead for the Huskers. They don't make anything easy. Watson tries to get a charge call. Nothing. Looking for a good shot. Too much. And he fouls 13 feet behind the three-point line. Palmer Jr. is coming back in. Nebraska committing too many fouls here. Ten in the second half. Gives Lamar two free throws. At the free throw line. Got it. Back down to five. 63-58. Here we go. Lamar. Second one up, and he short. Roby clears it. Palmer ahead to Gill. Gill pulls it back out, gives it to Copeland. Ball's deflected, but Gill's there for the pickup. Watson thought about it. Realized probably not a good idea. Four-point game still. Got the step back. Oh, the floater. He knocks it down. A seven-point lead. A huge shot by the senior, Glenn Watson, Jr. Man, they just bring a cutter. He's got it. 49 seconds left in this thing. Deflected and turned over. A timeout called by Lamar. Down five. Wow. The basket comes out, goes man now. Three ball, not even close. Foul with Palmer Jr. with the rebound. He's going to go to the free throw line. Well, eventually, they're still a ways away from the bonus. He's wrapped up. 31 seconds left in this thing. Nebraska, a great free throw percent or shooting team. Gill foul. And that's only the third team foul. The power forward receives the pass. Is trying to waste time. Goes right at him. He's like, I ain't messing around. I'm going to go right at you, son. Free throw. Got it. Back up to a two-possession game. Or a six-point game. So five. Oh, he left it short. Timeout by Lamar. They had a chance to cut it to a one-possession game. Still 25 seconds left here in the game. Lamar. A huge underdog has played outstanding today. Nebraska probably contributed to that a little bit with their defensive effort and poor shot selection. 18 seconds. They got tied to waste. Three ball on the way. No good. He's fouled. And that's going to be it. Nebraska, they feel it. That's his fourth. Eight seconds left. The subs come in. Watson goes to the free throw line. Trying to get his 14th point of the day. He does. Knocks it down. It's a three possession game now. Now trying to get his 15th point. Oh, he's a little long. Clock will continue to move. Six seconds. Five seconds. Four. That's going to do it, folks. 
He lays it up and gets it to fall. 67 62 is your final. Nebraska moves to 10 and 5 on the year as they head into Big 12 basketball league play where they are going to be facing better teams than this and they're going to have to have a better outcome because today was not pretty, folks. Our final, like I said, 67 62. Nebraska gets it done. Copeland at eight. Roby Palmer Jr. led all scorers with 16 for Nebraska. Gill with nine. Watson, 14. McVeigh, a huge day off the bench with 12. Needed that for sure. The Cardinal, no bench help, but they didn't really need it. My goodness. Look at some of their overall talent. 15 is a good player. 21 is a good player. Their point guard's a good player. So they had talent. Much better team than what their record indicates. But that's going to do it for us. We'll send to the next thing and see if we've... Maybe we've got on the bubble. I don't know. We'll go check that out real quick. We'll fast forward here to our next game, which is going to give us plenty of time to rest up. And it'll really give us a look at what's going on around college basketball as we move into January. People start talking about the bubble. Nebraska is going to be squarely... It depends on how they do in the in the uh, in the conference. If they can get out to a good conference start, you know what? They might be pretty darn good. But if they don't, it could be a long season. And looking at another trip to the NIT, so we'll look here real quick and see if we get if we're on any, if there's any sort of bubble talk with us. Bracketology, there it is. There's the automatic bids. You know those teams, they're leading their conferences. Best of the rest. These teams are all in. You see Michigan State's 14, 11 and 4. North Carolina, Oklahoma's 10 and 4. They lost a conference game. They're eighth in the country, though. Texas, 9 and 4. You see Nebraska anywhere and not there. On the bubble. Nebraska, Kansas State, they're 8 and 7. They're on the bubble. Nebraska, nowhere I'm even close to the bubble. So our schedule didn't do us any favors. Had some games we probably should have won. But that's going to be uh, it for this one. Look at the conference standings real quick in the Big 12. And a couple teams have played. Baylor's already 2-0. and They're 11-4. and Nebraska hasn't played yet. As you can see there, either has Kansas, who finished 6-7. and seven. My goodness. Colorado's lost a bunch, four in a row. Nebraska, we've won two in a row. Kansas has won three. So... The hottest teams in the league is uh, Baylor with, or actually Texas Tech with 11 wins. They started 0-3 and 11 wins in a row. That's impressive. All right, well, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for stopping by the channel. If you uh, like the channel, man, just give that channel a thumbs up or the video a thumbs up. Give the channel a follow. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit that notification bell, man. You hit that notification bell, you'll know when I post any new videos. So appreciate any sort of uh, support you guys give. Tell people, uh, you know, I'm streaming some older video games, but that's that's all right, man. Just putting content out there. Anyways, <clears throat> hey, man, leave the comments if you want. If not, it's cool. I'll see you next time. Some Oscar.